The town of Eatonville, Florida serves as a monument to the end of slavery and the preservation of African American history. It's a place like no other. Six miles outside of Orlando, Florida, lies a hidden jewel known as Eatonville, a place filled with a history of courage, progress, and the spirit of a people who are determined to make a better life for themselves while inspiring hope for the future. Eatonville was founded by Joe Clark, who bought land from Josiah Eaton, who was willing to sell land to Joe Clark, a black man who had money to buy it. 22 acres of land was sold and donated to Joe Clark and others who took that land and decided to incorporate and build their own community. Historian N. Wina Theory says finding a safe place to live after the Emancipation Proclamation of 1863 wasn't easy. Escaping the plague of racism was key as the creation of race colonies grew. A significant number of thinking black people said, this is not going to work and we can't live in security than with whites, then we need to move on out and found communities where we can live. On August 15, 1887, Eatonville became a reality, proudly called the town that freedom built. What makes it so special is we're self-governed. When we talk about being the oldest black municipality. The town was built on the principles of education, family, community, and religion core values that stand to this day. St. Lawrence uh, African Methodist Episcopal Church is a cornerstone uh, in the community of Eatonville. This is the oldest church in the United States of America from a black perspective. The church was founded in 1881, that's six years before the town of Eatonville, a location where founders met to discuss the future of their new town. There's no ville like Eatonville, and that's true because we, we are unique in our own way. We feel that, that we set a precedent for other uh, black communities. Uh, you can see here that, for example, even the water pump in the back of this. The theory believes it's important to preserve the past. She works with others to restore the town's most legendary buildings, like the Thomas House. Its last incarnation was as a private home. It was at one time the church. It was at one time a library. It was at one time a gambling hall. This building has had at least four lives. Eatonville native and author Zora Neale Hurston, best known for her book, Their Eyes Were Watching God, brought attention to the town, along with a yearly arts festival held in her honor. Zora Neale Hurston was a maverick who recognized the beauty of her people. Whether it's the paintings that line St. Lawrence Church or the murals and paved roads along Kennedy Boulevard, it's all proof that Eatonville has come a long way, along with a legacy of hope, a legacy that will never be forgotten. Eatonville, we're going to keep on keeping on. It's a part of the American saga. It incorporates so much of what is quintessentially American. The town of Eatonville is planning to celebrate their 125th anniversary in 2012. Reporting in Eatonville, Florida, I'm Shandrea Thomas.